Peace, fam. Peace and happy new day. Everyone out there, it's a beautiful one, beautiful, beautiful day. You can hear me now. Now might be completely better. Okay, let me... Still no sound? Um, okay, I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do... Wait, yeah, you can hear me? Huh, this message... Okay. Okay, cool. Yes, you can hear me. Excellent. Hey, look. Okay, so the energy is high, so that's what's going on. All right, I got to share this experience. So, um, today I wanted to speak a little bit about something I experienced today, and it and it and it has to do with um being presently in the moment and knowing that you literally create your own reality. And um, it's all in the inside. Like, everything is on the outside. We focus a lot on the uh, outside factor of life. But it's really in the inside. And so um, today I gave myself uh, a reading. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard me before, but um, currently at the beach, I had to come down here and ground a little bit. I've been doing a lot of movement. We finally made it to our final destination, Eureka. And so we've been here for about two days, uh, just going with the flow. As I've been learning, this whole journey is just really going with the flow. You can't make any plans for anything because, you know, you might plan to, to go eat ice cream tomorrow. And guess what? You might not want no ice cream tomorrow. Or, you know what I'm saying, it might be cold or you might get sick. So we always kind of live in a future moment, but we really don't live in that present now moment because the present now moment is the only moment that can be attested for and so um what i've been noticing in myself is that i hold i will hold myself up to an expectation like for example i might be like okay that ice cream looks good but i'm not gonna get it today i'll get it tomorrow and so the next day will come, but deep down inside from my heart, I wouldn't even care to get the ice cream. But because I have made a plan and an expectation and, you know, I I, I guess that's the word for it. You know, I, I push myself to do it and I don't even really want to do it. So when you're not living in the present moment is what I, you know, you're not living from the heart because you're not really doing what you want to do. How can you be doing what you want to do when you're off thinking or trying to be in a moment that hasn't yet came? So today, or I will say lately, um, as I said, I we've been on a lot. We've been we're doing a lot of movement, and um, I've been wanting to find some grounding in that movement because we've just been moving so much. You know, I needed to find some type of like you know discipline in this travel. 
And so today I was just like, wow, you know, I just really need clarity on, you know, how to proceed forward because right now I feel scattered. Like, you know, I don't feel like I have any clarity. So, you know, I just, you know, spoke to the ancestors, spoke to my myself in, in generally because the ancestors is me. And um, I pulled a card for myself today and I feel like by me reading this card, I wouldn't even say I feel, I know that by me reading this card, it's gonna it's gonna touch somebody today because somebody out there is feeling the same way that I was feeling today because we are all one. So let me get this collective reading to everybody. For things to change, first, I must change. I am the center of my universe. If I want something different in my life, I must do and be something different. If I do the same old things, I will get what I've always gotten. All lasting change happens on the inside first. Therefore, therefore, things to change in your life first, I must become the change. And so I was like, well, dang, that makes sense. Whatever we want in this reality, we can create. We can definitely create because your word is bomb, but you have to know it. You have to live it. You have to smell it. You have to breathe it. What does it taste like? You know, what are you wearing when you're there? Like, you have to be in what you want to create. And, um, you know, just also knowing that you have to do something. Like, you know, let's just say, for example, you want to stop smoking cigarettes. Well, you know what? You just have to stop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> excuse me. You just have to stop. Like, it really starts with us in the inside. You know, the more we focus on us and we don't, you know, we don't give all our energy to what's happening outside or, oh, man, just the list goes down the line. I'm not even going to really get into that of things that we always focus on on the outside of who wearing, who's wearing what, who's fucking who what to eat, you shouldn't eat that, you, you, you can't eat that, if you like that, you like that, <laughs> the list goes on, you know, if we don't focus on that, life can be so simple, it's so simple because you just focus on you, and literally, you focusing on you will reflect out to how your external environment radiates back at you, <laughs> because this is literally a, a game and you literally can create it and so by doing that you simply just change because if you don't change guess what you're gonna get the same results it's like what they would call you know beating a dead horse i think that's what it's called um beating a dead horse okay i see somebody can't see the video i guess it's just the energy is just a little bit high right now in this point where i am and everything's just coming in so hopefully if you can't see it now you better see it later but, um, you know, just be be that change. And, and this I'm just really on this journey, uh, you know, traveling cross country, just in car with my partner, just in this truck, like has taught me so much. And just life is simple. Um, whatever you want vibrates off of you. So you literally become a magnet and magnetize what you want in this quote-unquote reality because everything is energy so you're really just manipulating the elements and making everything line up so that's when you know that you're in the divine alignment because what you say think and do manifests in your reality and it manifests fast and so the more we get in our heart center the more we get into us the more we release the labels and the shackles. I mean, like, I'm seriously, like, I, I know I say this a lot because it just really, you know, the more you, the more you just release who you think you should be, the more you can get into who you really are and who you really like. Because, you know, from birth, we've been programmed by our parents, you know, by school teachers by friends we've just been influenced we've been programmed from birth we've been born into a program so yes we had our own you know our we, we had ourselves. we had our own thought form but we also had a lot of implanted programs you can't do that you can't wear this you should say this after that 
you shouldn't wear that. You shouldn't act like that. You know, it's 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 everything is, <laughs> you know, everything is um, it's a program, and so I pulled another card, and this one might hit. So it's the uh, sense of humor card. So um, and this is from the uh, Archangel uh, Michael Archangel Michael uh, Tarot deck. And it looks like this. So I'll be giving readings while I'm here because the energy is really wonderful out here in uh, Northern Cali. It's uh, the air is fresh, the air is clean. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. So let me read this card. Um, and thank you for everybody who joined and was sharing this experience with me, through me, for us. Okay, here it goes. So, this is the sense of humor card. And I'm pretty sure it reflects other people's current situation. So, if you right now have been through any situation, anything that just has occurred in your reality, and it may be bothering you or, you know, boggling you down, um, I want you to take this card in and really you know see if it hit home see if it hits home for you so um the situation would benefit you from your sense of humor view your experience as if you are watching a screen from a movie keep in mind that shakespeare says that all the world is is a stage what you do find humor about human nature in this scenario by getting a new perception, per, uh, perspective on everyone's behavior, you can automatically detach with love. So at the moment that you find yourself in a situation maybe with somebody and um, you're not agreeing, I would say, you know, just detach from the situation and love that person from where they are and what's going on. You know, everything that's going on in the world, you have to just view it as it is. And don't judge it good or bad and focus more in the inside with you because you can control what's going on inside of you. It's your reality. So, you know, put in more energy in us, open our heart chakra to be able to really see and pull back the veil because the veil goes back deeper. You know, I feel that there's there's many different levels of awareness, but there's also many different points of views to view things. And so the more we expand that, the more we grow, the more we tap into that Christ consciousness, if you would say, type of mind frame where you don't take anything personal. Nothing's personal. It is what it is. It is what you make out of it. If you feel like that's what, that was disrespectful, guess what? It was disrespectful. If you feel like she was ugly, guess what? That's your, <laughs> your reality. That's how you feel or whatever name you want to call it. Like. Just don't take it so personal. So um, so by getting a new view on how everybody behaves, you learn how to detach and see it as love. Humor allows people to um, drop their defenses so that love can enter and heal the situation in the relationships. That's why God and the angels have a wonderful sense of humor and do so. You. It says, um, you know, different ways that you can bring yourself back, I guess, to that humorous um, energy feel is to, you know, write, um, laugh at a funny movie, um, you know, speak your mind, tell a joke. So, you know, just it really it, it really is simple, y'all. And I'm just I'm really seeing it. And I'm so glad I had that breakthrough today. And I'm happy that I can share this. And I know uh, someone out there is reflecting on the same thing. So um, if you're going through any type of situation today and, you know, you're not feeling up to your most, uh, you know, highest energies or you're judging yourself or shaming yourself or you're in this belief or that belief, just release it and know that this reality can be anything you want it to be. If you want to call the sky green, call it green. Who cares? 
like just don't take it so seriously so um and just know that you know you are your own teacher like don't look i mean i'm not saying that we we can all widen each other's you know expansion i mean widen each other's consciousness with you know different views or how we see stuff or how you know we may live and, and how our awareness may be but that doesn't mean that you know you have to actually rock with it you know you still are your own individual self and um you know it it really doesn't it doesn't take you know meditating all day it doesn't take eating 12 vegan meals a day or five day <laughs> vegan meals a day or it just doesn't take a lot of different stuff that you start to realize you know it just none of that even really matters none of it really really matters at all it's all what you make it you know so i'm not gonna keep babbling on but um I just really wanted to share that with you guys. To just make sure you just unmask what's not you. You are all and everything. Never box yourself into a category or feel that if you go by some title just to relate with people in this 3D realm that you have to always be that title. Things change every second. Every heartbeat, things change. We change. And the more you don't resist the change and go with the flow, you may be a yoga teacher one day, and then the next day you may be a chef. Okay, do it. Do it. Flow. Just, you know, just don't take it so serious. We're here to, you know, experience and expand, but not to bind down and to box in and to and to bring bondage, and you can only do this. and so. You know, it's, it's 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 time to really unleash that shadow self that we keep within us, the the part that wants to come out and play, but we don't want it to come out and play because if we do it, it's wrong or it's bad or what if this person thinks this about me? It doesn't matter what anybody thinks or anything. As long as it's harmonious and as long as it's not harming anybody and you're just always being true to yourself and speaking your truths, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. And I'm just going to leave it as that, family. So um, thank you very much for um, joining me in this and um, allowing me to, I thank Spirit for just, you know, allowing me to be the vessel to channel this information. So uh, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, don't let nothing get you down. Peace out, family.